Welcome. In this session, we will learn about entry widget. Entry widget is a very important widget because it is used to get text from user. We can enter text in entry widget. So how we can make it? We will write the name entry here. That is the name of the class and then we will tell the window in which it needs to be so that is the root window and that's it entry widget will be created here and then what we will do we will pack this on the window but before that we don't have to do it on the same line because we don't have to destroy this object so I will make a object name entry with small e so in this object we have this entry now we can pack this here I will say entry dot pack which will place it in our window and I will run it and we will see if our entry is there or not as you can see here we have our entry widget we can enter anything here as you can see enter your name so we can get text from user here now what we can do further here we can do multiple things on this like we can change its background and foreground color let's see as this is on the root window I will say BG for background is equals to let's say red and I will say foreground FG is equals to blue so what I'm saying here, this will change the background to red and FG will change the foreground, that is the text color. So the text color will be blue and the background will be red. So let's run it again and see the output. As you can see the background is red but we have to enter some text, let's say enter your name. As you can see the text is in blue. So we can do, there are a lot of colors we can give here, like I will change the foreground from blue to yellow and I will run it again. So let's see, yellow color. As you can see the text color has been changed to yellow. So now we will do some more things here. Now I will make a button that will be used to clear the text of this entry widget and we will learn how to clear the text of this widget. So let's make a button here and this button will be on root window. Its text will be clear. Clear entry box. So it will clear the text of the entry box. So what I will add here the command which will be used for the callback function and let's say the name of this callback function will be clear text we can give any name of our choice because this is a function and then I will pack it here so now I will make this clear text callback function here on the top so I will say clear text in the body of this function what we will do we will call a delete method on this entry object we have as you know this is the object so we have multiple methods functions available on this that we can use so I will write the name here entry dot I will say delete as you can see the M here small m beside delete IntelliSense is telling us about this function so we will use this function it will take two arguments the first index from where it needs to start and the last where it needs to go so we will say start from the zero index and go to end in the capital letters which will mean that we are saying start from the zero index and delete all the alphabets all the text inside of our entry till end so let's see I will run it again and we will see the output here as you can see our entry box is there and the button is there clear entry box I will write some text here text to be deleted so we have some text here in our entry box now I will click this button as you can see the text is gone so whatever I write here and then press this button the text will go so this is how we clear the text of any entry box but as you can see I entered a name text here how to get this text to use somewhere 
so i will make i will now make a label here and i will change the functionality behind this button and what it will do is when i click the button it will show the text of this entry box onto that label so let's see how it's done first of all i will change the name of this button it will be saying show text on label as we will be having a label on which we need to show text and the name of the function will be show on label so I will write it here we we do not need to change the name but the, the thing that I am changing name is just to make things clear well if we do not change the name here it will still work but I change names for the better understanding that what that method is doing so its name should be same as what it is doing so what I will do here I will remove this thing here but before do doing this I will make a label on which I need to show the text so I will make a label here and it will be in the root window and it's its text will be text variable because we have to change the text of the label depending upon the text inside our entry box so I will say text variable is equals to here I have to provide a variable but before providing the variable I have to make it so I will say label text variable and it will be equal to string variable Initially, I will set the text of this label text to dashes, which will indicate that currently there is no text. So I will just say here, I will ha have to provide a label var variable here. So I will say label text. So now initially text will be equal to this. And then as I have to pack this and I don't have to lose the object here, so I will make the object here as label I will I'm getting the object from label into this variable and then I will pack in ne next line I will say here label dot pack so that's it now we have to change the functionality here in our function so when this button is pressed this function will be called and what we need to do we need to get the text of entry and show it on label so how we can do this we have to change the value of this variable label text which we have here so I will say label text dot set now how we can get the text of entry box we will write the name of object entry as we have this entry object here and call the function on it that is get so it will get the text of entry and show it on the label so that was all from this function now I will run this and we will see the output here so let's see we have our text box we have our label we have the button so I will enter some text here let's say Apple and I will press this show text on label as you can see now label is showing the text of the entry box so we have successfully got the text of entry and showed it on label so I will add something here apple is a fruit so as you can see that phrase is there now and we can change it to anything mango and whenever we click on this button show text on label it will show that text on label so we can do a lot of things with these entry box as our application requires these entry box so we can have multiple entry boxes and we can get the text and do whatever we want with that text so currently we are showing it on label so that's how it works so that's all from this session